Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now if you saw one of my previous videos where I did swatches of the these amazing chameleon um, dust from Chameleon Glitter, I did say that just like with the glitters you can apply these in acrylic and I would do a video um, showing how to do that. Well this is the video because I am going to show you in this video how to create these two nails using um, the chameleon pigment with my Team Gorgeous uh, acrylic system and I've also added a little bit of glitter um, just to bling it up a little bit. Um, so the dusts that I'm using in this video are the orange which is Satsuma and this one which is Fab Fuchsia and I thought these two colours were perfect going into autumn. So if you would like to see how I have created this marble nail and this sort of um, ombre sparkly nail think of a name for this one <laughs> um, please keep watching. Okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is scoop a little bit of my two chameleon pigments out and into a little glass dappen dish and I'm doing this because I don't want to contaminate the bulk of my pigment that's in the bottle um, with acrylic so I'm just taking a couple of scoops out and giving it a bit of a break up and do exactly the same with the other one now, when I finish any of the pigment that I haven't used, I will get rid of because it will have had acrylic in it and um, I don't want to put that back into my um, jar. But obviously with these pigments, a little goes a long way, so um, I haven't really, I'm not going to be wasting too much of the product. Okay. So now that's ready, we can get on with creating the nail. Um, for this, I'm going to use my Team Gorgeous Betty brush. Give that a... My one in And I've got whipped cream from the Ombre collection and clear candy, which is the clear acrylic. So the first nail that I'm going to create is the ombre nail. So I am going to pick up quite a wet bead of whipped cream, place that on, and then I'm going to pick up a small bead of clear candy. I'm going to go into my first pigment and place that on, clean my brush off, do the same and go in to the second pigment and place that on. And then using the tip of my brush, I'm just going to swirl the colors into one another. But I don't want to over swirl it because I don't want to have sort of a mushy mess at the end. And then I'm just going to pat it down and then I'm just going to continue building up that marble.
Okay, so now that nail is all finished, um, I am going to use my Big Betty brush just to clap, clap it, clap it <laughs> in clear. And what I really want to do is just even it out a bit because it's quite a lumpy, bumpy nail. So the clear is less of the of a cap but just making sure it's an even nail. If you were working on a client, this is the point where you would look to build in or make sure you've got that structure in there. Okay, so that is now completely capped in clear. So I'm gonna leave this now and get on with the next nail and then I can file them both together. So what I'm gonna do with the second nail is I'm going into my monomer and then I'm picking up a small bead of the clear acrylic, which I'm then going to dip into my first pigment. And then I'm gonna place that on the nail and I'm just going to pat it down sort of where I want to start and then I'm just going to start patting and feathering it into place so I'm just taking it up exactly the same so picking up a wet bead and going into the second pigment and I'm going to place that on not quite touching leave it to settle just for a moment again and then pat and pull it into place <laughs> all of this too much because as you hopefully saw in my in at the beginning of the video I am going to add some glitter before I add my glitter I'm gonna do the nail bed color and sort of fade that down for this I'm using honeycomb Yeah. 
And now I'm going to add my glitter. And the glitter I'm going to use is from the Glitter Fairy. And this is Rose Guild from the Liz Guild collection. Now the reason I'm using this glitter and not one from Chameleon is because I wanted something a bit chunkier um, than they actually do. So into my monomer, I'm going to pick up a small bead of my clear and go into my glitter. And you want to work sort of a bit at a time and build this up. So I'm placing it on the nail and then I'm just going to sort of pat it into place with the tip of my brush, moving it to where I want it. So then we can pick up another bead. with the other one cap it in my clear acrylic and then I'm gonna file and refine both of those nails and then I'll be back okay so my nails are have now been filed um, and refined and looking much much better so the last thing I do before I top coat is I just go over with a buffer block quickly just to get rid of any file marks that might be on there just to give it a nice finish and then I'm gonna go in with my gorgeous nails top gloss now this is the old style from before they sort of had a bit of a rebrand um, but I will leave a link for the updated So you're going to pop that one under the lamp and that cures for 60 seconds. Uh, and this is my little A body 12 watt cordless LED lamp. Um, so it's a rechargeable lamp which is great for carrying around if you're mobile but I also find it great for doing my swatches and uh, these videos now because I don't have to worry about my big lamp plugging it in and I've got loads of other things plugged in I can just charge it up and it will do me quite a few nails this way so there are my two finished nails and just a little bit different how to use the chameleon dusts with acrylic so as always I will leave links in the description box where you can get your chameleon dusts or glitters um, Teen Gorgeous acrylics and um, unfortunately the Rose Guild glitter and in fact the entire Liz Guild collection from the Glitter Fairy was limited edition and not in stock at the moment but I will leave a link to the Glitter Fairy website so you can check out all her other amazing glitters if you have liked this video please give it a like uh, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video bye for now